Can you, Gordon Ramsay, break down that sandwich for me? <laughs> okay, so what we've got going on here, right? Okay, is we've got <clears throat> pan seared chicken, both sides, freshly baked baguette, freshly baked as well, <laughs> with thyme, horseradish, oregano, garlic, butter, gravy, pan sauce, whatever. That's an or interesting put- pronunciation. Oregano? <laughs> or oregano, or whatever you could... <laughs> Yeah, I, I heard the same thing, and I was like, what? <laughs> if someone else made me this sandwich, whether they wanted me to or not, I would fuck them. <laughs> Fresher than Eddie's baguette that he's eating right now. Let's go. And he is eating a baguette. <laughs> Almost in memory of the lives lost to these terrorists. Oh my god. Is this too wow. soon? Is this too soon? Yeah, like it's the same day. <laughs> oh man! Airdrop books of John Locke, just like hundreds of thousands of them. Just, just, just no hitting no, children in the head, potentially causing brain damage. But the ones who survived the shelling of John John Locke, everything he's written, complete masterworks. Then, eventually, after like ten years, when it sinks in. And they learn to speak English, obviously. That's going to have to come first. But <laughs> they will learn the values of expression and personal liberty. It's pretty yeah, powerful to see to a bunch of angsty teens like, hey, sex is forbidden. But by the way, like, blow yourself up. You get lots of sex forever. I mean, yes. <laughs> that's I mean, excellent. They're like, they're excellent like no one will fuck me in the village, right? Yeah. But if I die, I'll, like, the hottest women ever. I wonder, you know, that would be kind of fascinating to, to, to have if you could get sketch eyes to draw what the Taliban think is really, really hot. Like, the, what, what they think the virgins look like in heaven. Oh my gosh, do the Taliban not look at women like her? Like, maybe we should let her do that kind of stuff, because it's pretty awesome. This is what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah. Skag. This is what I'm saying. You have to admit, our shit's better. You have to just oh, go there that... and say, our shit's better. We have. This, this is how we portray our women. We celebrate yeah. them for <laughs> everything they can give to the world, whereas you cover them up constantly and think you're going to uh, achieve right. them in the afterlife. No, no. This is... That's what we that's need to do. Fuck John Locke. Better, we, need to, sure. we need to airdrop VHS tapes of, of this chick into their country and see how that changes their priorities with their religion. No, 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 no. What we need I love to how do. Frito said VHS tape. I love how Frito says VHS tape because he is assumes that they don't have the technology to play DVDs. Exactly. No, no, no. no. What, we do, what we do is we conscript all the hottest porn stars into the army, right? And they form a special paratroop regiment. Right. And they go into Taliban country, and they literally fuck them into being peaceful. <laughs> fuck them into submission. <laughs> right. Listen, uh, there was this no is fucking awesome. I'm the hottest woman you will yeah. ever, ever see. Right? <laughs> All you have to do is not shoot school children in the face. Cool? <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, imagine if we uh you you know, if we dedicated a part of the federal budget to paying these I guess we'd have to get around it and not declare them whores, but they'd be essentially <laughs> sex operatives. That's what they'd be called. Yeah. Special I mean, honestly, agent sexy. Honestly, I am S-A-S. site's number one porn star. Perhaps are Muslim people in secret clicking on this, mm. doing their dirty deed against what the teachings of the Holy Quran are, and that's why she got the most clicks on the website. Dude, I think you're onto something here. We need to start a pure Muslim porn site because this is the biggest untapped market in porn, and nobody's thought about it before now. And I don't know how because porn's gone <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> literally <laughs> everywhere. Will be killed. <laughs> oh, c- come on, grow a pair. Let's. I think we should do this. This should be our second website endeavor that we'll get to eventually. <laughs> Muslimporn.com. Because if if Brian is right in that assumption, because I've watched, I would just venture a guess, 90% of the porn on the internet. And I've yet to see another porn video besides that one that emphasizes the Muslim angle. And if we attack that market, we could take over the porn industry, guys, I'm telling you. But to your point, though, Eddie, though, you had said earlier, I would be very afraid if I was a Muslim in Paris right now. That's unfortunate to the people that aren't these batshit crazy, I'm going to shoot you up if you violate any line in the Quran ever. And I think that that's where the left will have to step in and say, listen, these folks that are just minding their own business, but they, you know, read the Quran and they 
they practice their faith over here without affecting the lives of other people over here, I do think that those people do need to be stood up for. We shouldn't be randomly attacking anybody who looks fucking Muslim on the streets. Yeah, but I didn't America. say that either. I didn't say no, the criticism I... of them, and, and therefore the opposite is true. Mm -hmm. That kind of argument doesn't really watch. Also, just, to, just as a little piercing of that like way of thinking, if moderate Muslims don't like the backlash, uh, there is an unfair generalization, right? I'm not going to say it isn't. It is. If they don't like that, then they have to make serious steps to tidy their own fucking shit up. Right. If you don't like what happens to you when crazy people of your religion go and murder satirists or cartoonists, if you don't like that, then you need to help get rid of those people. Right? Because that counters all that shit. You can both be exclude yourself from that because I think a lot of Muslims do do that. They say they do agree that you shouldn't be mocking my God. Right. And I, I guess if you're indoctrinated in that belief, I can see why you'd be in that perspective, brainwashed into thinking that. But you ha they have to break out of that because otherwise we're not on the same team, right? Because that's where it ends up. Either you're on the team of free speech or you're on the team of the extremists and because you, it, being neutral isn't an option. The biggest threat that faces our way of life and our ideology is education. And don't they ever think about the implications of that? Like, the single greatest weapon against our way of life is people having access to written or spoken word. That is a very sad, pathetic existence to know no, that. You, you're, you're giving them far too much credit. I, I suppose you're saying, so. You're saying, do they ever have self reflective moments? Where I would they, like they to think they are humans, like, aren't they? <laughs> no, no. They have Maybe an instruction not. manual that says. If you draw pictures of the Prophet Muhammad, you deserve to be killed. If you leave the religion, they have an instruction manual for life. That that aspect of self-reflection and self-checking, you know, what an, an in, a just, follower of the Enlightenment movement does. Yeah, you can't understand it because you, you <laughs> your mind has been I know. sufficiently freed. I'm to just the point trying you to could imagine. Never think like that. I'm just trying to imagine a bunch of Taliban bros sitting around their cave fire or whatever, uh. you know. <laughs> And they're just, and one of them, you know, maybe they're getting high or drinking or whatever they're doing. And one of them's like, you know, sometimes they're, I think a lot is just kind of bullshit. And then what Muslims is one of like, you, you know, like Chambers' gun and th I mean, do they not just sit around and bullshit ever? And is that not tolerated? I mean, I can't hold on, imagine. Hold on, hold on. I just, I just want to highlight the fact that Skag right now is pontificating. <laughs> does a Muslim ever dream? Does, they, does like, an extremist well, ever just? Look out into a sunset and just appreciate the Don't... beauty of the environment. No! No, they're evil <laughs> bastards! They shoot satiricists! They don't give a fuck! It's... They hate us for our freedoms. Yes, yeah, but, uh, which is but, but there shouldn't the fucking be... worst thing ever because it means George Bush was right when he said that. He that's kind of was. Worst, that's the worst <laughs> thing ever. Like, I mean, have you ever seen someone, like, fall over drunkenly, <laughs> stupidly, playing basketball... And the ball just sails through the air and fucking swishes from, like, downtown, like, over the halfway court. That's what he did, right? <laughs> I'm not giving him any credit, right, because he's a fundamentalist Christian, but he essentially was right about that. They do hate you for your freedom. What game is this, sorry? Master Chief Collection. Halo Master Chief Collection. That's not a game, is it? It's just, like, a fucking loading screen. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a lobby. Lobby simulator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, that's not that funny. Well, what could we actually pretend to kill? A cyclist, because they're always in the fucking way, right? And you're trying to turn, and he's going all slow, and you got to wait for him to go. And yes, he's making you more late. So he almost killed a cyclist. It's funny. I can see this going places. No. It's a good premise. I think it's a good joke. And I stand by the murdering of cyclists via language <laughs> because he didn't actually do it. I'm sick and tired every single time. Every time someone ever brings up the use of words to equate them with actions, it it blows my mind. When clearly he said LOL. And I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna say like, oh, we can say like kill all Muslims is a good idea, LOL. Like, no, that, I'm not saying that. <laughs> not saying you can just erase anything you say, but clearly he was saying it in a flippant way. You're that, not allowed to have a waist size beyond a certain measurement after your forty. You're so, not allowed to be overweight. Well, what do they so do? You get fined. So then you they get fined and forced to go to the gym. I'm, they, <laughs> you think I'm fucking joking? They haul them off to jail and perform lipos. No, they don't take them to jail. They just make them eat salads. <laughs>
Like, wow. I saw this great thing on TV the other day. It was like, is science the answer to obesity? I'm like, no, <laughs> not eating is. Yeah, a little work ethic. <laughs> Will science cure obesity? No. <laughs> Stop eating, I can't fatty. Even, I can't even talk. I can't even talk. <laughs> that unified the left and the right and saying, we got a freedom of fucking speech, motherfucker. Yeah. Right, exactly. Hollywood liberals were freedom of speech, motherfucker. For that Canadian you know? to make that movie powered by Sony, a non-American company. USA! Yeah. USA! No, but I was just saying... <laughs> I, I don't we need a fucking parade for this movie. USA. <laughs> I don't understand though because if that if it was a conspiracy and they did it as a publicity stunt, it didn't fucking work. They made half of their money yeah. back, so that's what doesn't make sense to me. If they they would have had it better planned out if that was the case, unless they assumed the internet was going to go ablaze and triple that number, uh, uh, thirty one million dollars made. But I I don't know. Probably because once it's on the internet. People just stop paying for it, really, because I'm sure there's plenty of people who just downloaded it illegally, and that's probably the bigger issue there. I action scenes, Brian. One, you don't even watch the show. Two, I see the people are getting action in that show all the time. There's a titty in just about every single scene. There's action everywhere. I want to see a giant life-size titty that's as big as the entire <laughs> screen. Giant titties, the biggest titty, a titty that can conquer the world. Okay, if there's a pregnant woman or an elderly person that gets onto the subway and you're a 30 year old guy, you're going to get up and give your seat to an elderly I don't. person. Fuck was... him. <laughs> yeah, I did not give up. That's I, hope it's asshole, though. I hope it's been raining. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really practice voices. I used to when I was young and more flamboyant. Handsome. <laughs> Shut up. And had, had a non receding hairline. <laughs> Can we just line up all of the failings that have co age has caused me? Is that what we're <laughs> Let's go down the whole list. Let's just do it all. Fuck it. We'll What's do up, it all. When I was younger and What's better up? looking, more penis resilience, got more girls, <laughs> was more successful at everything I tried to do. Eddie, I know that Eddie doesn't like the controller. I like the controller better than the 360 Ugh. version, actually. Too. Fucking get out of this fucking hangout. God. I agree. I like it significantly fucking better than hell, the PlayStation you're make me controller fucking too. But... Violently becoming an extremist. <laughs> <laughs> so we found Eddie's remember. cartoon, right? The ah, okay. yeah, that's, that's that Eddie's... line you can't cross, I see. <laughs> that's, that's what's sacred, Brian. Fuck. <laughs> Prefer the Xbox One controller. What? You, actually, to be fair, you, you don't have regular hands. You have sort of like just large hams <laughs> your arms which you they're stumps where my hands used to be the <laughs> yeah. swamp smash <laughs> that's, that's why my CSGO aim is terrible because I'm just throwing the keyboard <laughs> up and down repeatedly when I'm playing uh, Brian you've, you've somehow managed to configure the Guitar Hero drum set to, to input commands on you just 